In this lesson, we'll look at the navigation display map and plan modes. Map mode presents FMC information against a moving map background. FMC present position is shown at the top of the airplane symbol. Map can also be shown in a centered format. While centered map shows the same total range as expanded map, the forward range is only half the expanded distance. Plan mode displays non-moving map information in a centered format, but always oriented to true north. We'll discuss plan later, but first, let's look at some differences between the map and VOR approach displays. Map is a track up display. The track line remains vertical at all times, and the current heading pointer shows airplane heading. Unlike VOR or approach, the selected heading track line is not always displayed in map. Set the track bug to 170. The line is removed if the MCP setting has not changed for 10 seconds and the active AFDS roll mode is LNAV, localizer, or rollout. Now let's look at some common map symbology. Map items common to other airplanes are active waypoint information, full-time range display, a position trend vector during turns, an altitude range arc during climbs and descents, and VNAV path deviation. The active waypoint name is always displayed, except when the active waypoint is a runway or a conditional waypoint. The VNAV path deviation scale and pointer indicate up to 400 feet deviation. A readout appears when deviation is 420 feet or more. The indication is in view during VNAV descents as long as a valid descent path exists. The display is removed after passing the end of descent point or when either glide slope or flare mode engages. The altitude range arc shows where the MCP selected altitude will be reached. It is always displayed centered across the track line. Arc position is calculated by the FMC using ground speed and vertical speed. The flight crew can control arc position by adjusting one or both speeds. FMC position update status shows the system being used to update the FMC position. The update source changes automatically to use the best source available. These types of updating are available. Present positions of other systems can be displayed using the EFIS control panel position map switch. The map switches allow additional items to be shown besides the basic FMC route information. Operate the map switches to display or remove the information they control. Push the green arrow when you are ready to continue. Touch the highlighted area. Touch the highlighted area. Plan is similar to centered map with a few minor differences. The wind arrow, tuning information, and bearing pointers are not shown. Alternate airport symbols are displayed at all times. Up to four may be shown at once depending on the display range selected. They correspond to the airports listed on the FMC alternate page, which is covered in a later lesson. Present position is shown at the nose of the airplane symbol. The airplane is oriented to current true track. The waypoint at the center of the display matches the location of center on the root legs page. Next, we'll look at heading reference controls and indications. Heading reference indicates the current compass orientation as determined by the heading reference switch. 
The heading reference switch is located on the left forward panel. The switch is in its normal pre-flight position. In normal, switching between magnetic and true heading occurs automatically above 82 degrees latitude or in the vicinity of the magnetic poles. Above 70 degrees latitude, a grid heading readout is also displayed. Grid heading is calculated from true heading and longitude values. Now, let's try manually selecting true heading. Push the heading reference switch. Notice that the displays did not change since the system was already in true. The heading reference light illuminates only when the switch is in this position. The white attention box remains in view as long as true heading is in use. Anytime the PFD and ND are referenced to true north and the airplane descends 2,000 feet at more than 800 feet per minute, the attention box turns amber and flashes for 10 seconds. The box returns to white when the airplane climbs 2,000 feet at more than 500 feet per minute. We've left the polar area. Change the reference back to magnetic. When the reference returns to magnetic, a green attention box displays for 10 seconds. AFDS operations using true heading are covered in a separate lesson. The source of ND map data is normally from the FMC. Should the FMCs fail, the CDUs can provide an alternate but limited source of map data. The navigation source switches are used to manually display a CDU generated map. The navigation source switches are located on the instrument source select panels. In the off position, Ames automatically selects the active FMC as the map source for both NDs. Push the left switch. The CDU position may be used at any time to view the CDU stored map. Normally, the left CDU feeds the left ND and similarly for the right. Now, let's look at how a CDU map differs from the FMC map. The CDU source status shows which CDU is providing map data to the ND. Notice that all root legs, which are not point-to-point, -point, such as holding patterns, and conditional waypoints, such as intercept headings, are removed. Also notice the ETA indication is replaced by a readout in minutes of time to go to the waypoint. Vertical deviation, if displayed, is also removed. Details of alternate navigation are covered in another lesson. Next, let's go through a quick ND preflight. Verify the navigation source switch is in the off position. The ND preflight should be completed after the ADARU is aligned. Map is the recommended mode for takeoff. Select Map. Next, verify ND indications are normal with no flags in view. This ND is typical of pre-flight conditions. Finally, verify the heading reference switch is in normal. Now, let's look at some non-normal conditions. The NAV ADARU inertial caution message indicates ADARU inertial navigation failure. GPS track and position data is automatically selected if not already being used. After an ADARU failure, LNAV and VNAV guidance are not available. However, heading hold and heading select may still be used to follow the FMC flight plan. Cancel the message.
The advisory message FMC is displayed when both FMCs have failed. A CDU is automatically selected to control the CDU stored map data sent to each ND. Notice you do not have to push the navigation source switches. Normally, the left CDU generates the left ND map and the right CDU the right ND map. The center CDU is automatically selected as a backup if the left or right CDU fails. The navigation source switch allows CDU map viewing only. It cannot be used to transfer control of FMC functions to the CDU. With FMC failures, the FMC update status is removed. Cancel the message. Dual FMC failure also forces all navigation radio tuning to be done manually through the on-side CDU. For this example, let's use the left CDU. Push the navigation radio key. The alternate navigation radio page is similar to the left half of the normal page. Frequencies and courses entered before the FMC failures are automatically transferred to the alternate page. Alternate VOR tuning is done with frequency entries only. Identifiers are not accepted. Allowable course entries can be one, two, or three digits. Combined frequency course entries are still allowed. ILS entry rules do not change. However, tuning disagreement displays are significantly different. If different frequencies and or courses are entered, the respective item on the PFD turns amber and is lined through to show the disagreement. There are no changes to ADF tuning or pre-select line operations. The FMC determines map range based on the EFIS control panel setting. Select 10 mile range. Touch the highlighted area. The range number blanks until a new map is received from the FMC. If this does not occur within a few seconds, the map range disagree message replaces the map display. These are other possible range disagree messages. The map flag displays if the disagreement remains for a longer period. These are other map related flags. This completes the instruction portion of the lesson. The dispatcher reports the snack bar is closed at your destination. It's time to check the ND for the nearest suitable alternate. The airport switch does show alternates, but also other available airports. What mode lets you see only alternates? Touch the highlighted area. Here is a chance to review the map switch displays. Operate the map switches to display or remove the information they control. Push the green arrow when you are ready to continue. The map switches are at the bottom of the EFIS control panel. Touch the highlighted area.